Hi, Fred here, and the project of today is modifying a Rockbond Free Controller keyboard to make it a custom instrument using the OPA shield. So the first thing we do is opening the device by removing all the screws, including the hidden screw in the keyboard handle, and now we are in, we will install two additional potentiometers to control various parameters. So we mark the holes, we drill carefully, and we clean up the work. The potentiometers we will install can be from 10 kilo ohm to 100 kilo ohm. The value does not really matter as we use them as dividers. So we install the parts, we screw the knobs, and we drill a hole for passing the cables. This is how it should look like. We need to reuse the board we made for the previous tutorial so we can attach the MIDI connector. And we connect our potentiometers to the analog port of the Arduino board. And this is the complete setup. So now we will make a custom preset to be controlled with our program later. Let's have a look at the Arduino program we need to control the shield. The first thing we do is creating a PA object and a software serial object for MIDI communication. Then we can start the MIDI communication, enable the OPA shield, and load our internal preset. We also need to configure the analog port for reading the potentiometers, and since we connected all the pins of the potentiometers on this port, we need to set up voltage references so we can read the wipers. Here is our main loop. The first part is meant to read MIDI packets, and then we sample the potentiometer's value so we can control some parameters, as for example operator 2 volume, operator 0 and operator 1 envelope release. The last part is meant to send note on and note off events depending on MIDI communication. Now that the software is ready, let's have a look at the project. I hope you enjoyed the video, and remember, these are the last four days, and we still need your support. So thanks, and see you next time.